guys. This video probably won't be very long, but I just wanted to come up here and talk a little bit about my concerns for the Amazon bring down. If you guys have not heard, I'm sure everybody has heard by now, even though the news isn't really covering it. But um the Amazon rainforest is burning down in Brazil. And I've really been just sad over it, because y'all know that I love nature and I love trees and I know that the rainforest burning down is just bad overall for a lot of people and a lot of just the earth period. It's just really sad, y'all. Um we know this is more than likely government doing. Um I'm not sure what we can do about it per se. Usually when these things happen, there's not much we can do about it. It's just one of those, um, you know, help save the earth tactics that we've always heard of, heard of. And I know they're going to make a lot of money off of this because organizations are going to be like, okay, well you can do this to save the rainforest, and we'll donate, and like, blah, blah, blah. I don't really believe that they're going to actually attempt to put the fires out, but I just want to say how sad I am because, like I said, y'all know that I actually care about nature. I'm not one of those phonies that come out of here and be like, oh man, that's unfortunate. Um, the rainforest is burning down, but I never gave a damn before. I didn't even care to look at a tree. I didn't even care to, you know, give a damn about nature any other time until I heard that the tree, the forest is burning down. I'm not like that. Ugh, it's, it's just really sad. I'm glad I'm not there to literally witness it because I was just really sad, you know, there were a couple of times, um, a few days ago, I was almost, um, crying because of it, because it's just ridiculous and sad, and now that I find out that, um, the Amazon is not the only forest burning down, it's also the Congo, and, um, somewhere in Africa, I forgot exactly where, but somewhere in Africa, there's another forest, another major forest being burned down as well, so I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Why? I don't know why this particular time. I don't know why they choose to do this now. I don't know what is going on out there. Y'all know there's a lot of things going on. Um, I'm not going to get into all that deep stuff, but I'm just deeply saddened about the rainforest. And I've always wanted to visit a rainforest. That's the other sad part. I've always wanted to visit an actual rainforest, and the sad part about it is I might not be able to. Like. I mean, of course, I'm not up here to preach like gloom and doom, but you know, I've always wanted to visit an actual rainforest. Like, just go there and just bask in the energy and, you know, learn some things. But, you know, they're destroying this earth at a rapid rate, and there's no telling how long rainforests are even going to exist. You know what I mean? There's, there's really no telling how long they're going to exist. Uh, there's no telling what else they're going to destroy. You know, Michael Jackson predicted this in his song, um, um, Earth Song, yeah, in that video, the Earth Song, I'm sure he predicted all of this, you know, he was trying to tell us, and nobody was waking up at the time, and yeah, now we're just in for it, because, what can we do, I mean, what can we do? A lot of people say that one thing we can do to help save the rainforest is to not eat meat. I see where people are going with that, but I'm not sure that's going to help anything. I mean, yes, you can make a stand by saying, oh yeah, save the animals, but you know what, that's not going to help anything. Honestly, that's not going to help save the millions of species of animals that are going to die in the rainforest. That's not going to help save those animals. We, I mean, yeah, we're just sacrificing, okay, not eating the traditional stuff that we always eat, like chicken, turkey, and all that. Those animals are already being mutilated at a rapid rate, but the, for animals that we've never even seen or experienced, us not eating meat is not going to change the fact that we'll never get to experience those animals. They're just going to die out, you know? They're just going to go extinct, and we'll never meet them, we'll never hear of them. There are a bunch of plants and animals over there that we'll never meet, we'll never see, we'll never know about, you know, tribes as well, there are people over there dying, there's just a lot going on, and... Like I said, I don't really believe that not eating meat is going to help, but I guess for the people who believe it will help them, I guess if they, they believe that if they don't eat meat, they'll it, it will make them feel like they're saving the rainforest, then go ahead. I mean, do you, boo. <laughs> 
but I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see the point in that, honestly. Just, just being honest. So yeah, I'm just, I'm deeply sad. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say today. Um, I've just been doing a lot of research on the rainforest the last maybe two or three days. I've just been meditating on it and, you know, just thinking a lot about it. I've been watching, like, video after video on YouTube about this rainforest and, you know, what's going to happen to us and what's going to happen to Brazil, what's going to happen to the earth, you know, how burning the rainforest down is going to restrict our air quality even more. You know, a lot of bad things are going to happen. Like I said, y'all, I'm just, I'm just, I'm really sad. I was almost crying like two nights ago, literally, all this, and it was just, I'm just feeling sad for the trees because I really feel for them. I really feel for wildlife in general, and just Earth is just crying out, and <laughs> we just gonna die. Let's just say that. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be pessimism, but it is what it is. We're doomed. We're fucked. <laughs> so, just live life the best way you can. And if you never respected nature before, please do it now. Any nature around you, if you never give a damn about nature before, do it now. Because the earth will not be as it is much longer. Just do the best you can. Be respectful to animals, plants and nature in general. Thanks for watching.